Hey what's up guys, today we'll be looking at some awesome apps that you won't find on the Google Play Store. Let's get started. Starting off is Showbox which is the one stop for enjoying both movies and TV shows. So here under trending you get the latest movies and TV news, trailers, top movies and even TV shows. Or you could browse them individually. For movies you can get all the latest movies and you can watch them online in your preferred quality and that too with different language subtitles. You also get to choose which video player you want to use. It's pretty much the same for TV shows as you get to watch them all the latest episodes. And by the way, the TV section also includes a few different animes like Naruto and Dragon Ball Z. Moving on we have compact icons. It comes packed with over 2800 minimal icons. Like the design is simply white outlines for each and every icon. They would look great on a dark home screen setup especially when you make it minimalistic. The app comes with only 4 simple HD wallpapers to go along with the icons. Even though it's not on the Google Play Store, the developer still lets you request missing icons. Here's a minimal setup I created using compact icons. Next we have LMT Launcher. This is the app you should consider if you want to add Pi controls to your Android device, that too without root. Simply activate it and swipe from any edge of your device to access your custom actions. You are also presented with the time and device info like battery, free memory, mobile data and Wi-Fi. The app also lets you customize the Pi by selecting the activation areas, changing the size, colors and even the gaps between the Pi controls. The app also lets you choose your custom Pi items and also long press actions. Following that is video order. With this app you can basically download videos and audio from YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Soundcloud or any other site you have in mind. All you have to do is load up the video and a download icon will appear at the bottom. Clicking on it will reveal all the different audio and video formats you can download in. You can also choose the quality of the video that is from 144p up to 8k. So the app can come in handy if you need to take any video offline or even download music. Next we have AMI Explorer, so it's like the ultimate file manager for Android. It has a pretty clean UI that is also customizable. You can select which tabs you want quick access to, you can also change the layout of the app itself and also choose bookmarks that appear to the left of your screen. It has many functions like archive to different formats, encrypt, decrypt along with the usual cut, copy and paste. The app also has root support meaning that you can use it to access and edit system protected files. It also has a recycle bin in case you make a mistake of deleting some important files. The best part is that you can get different add-ons for more functionality. After that is FileDo. Now this is the best Spotify replacement you can get for free. You can browse music by top artists, albums and playlists. Or you could simply search what you're looking for. You can click on any song to hear it online, that too with synchronized lyrics. Or you could download the song for offline listening. The app allows you to download all songs in high quality that is 320kbps. You can also create a file to account to manage your music and it does have a windows app too. Moving on is Ftroid. It is basically an alternative google play store that only contains free and open source android apps. Clicking on an app gives you its description, links to the source code and developer and also the permission it requires. You can also install and share the app from here. It has a large selection of apps that is over 2000 different apps and it also sends you updates for the apps you've currently installed through Ftroid. I'd say it's worth getting cause it gives you access to a whole bunch of new apps from customization to security to productivity and even a few games. Last on the list is a game called Flappy Bird. It used to be on the Google Play Store and it was so popular that the Android lollipop easter egg was based on it. But then it was so frustrating and a lot of controversy surrounded it that it was removed from the Play Store. Now if you still want to play it, simply search for the apk file and install it. It's a simple game where you simply tap on the screen and make the bird go as far as possible between the pillars. I must warn you though, that many people have broken their phone screens because of this game and hope you're not next. 